episode of Nerd in Texoma here. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's uh, recently been coming out and actually available in stores. Uh, you know, I know some folks have had the pre-orders for months since June, July, something like that. Generally speaking, I'm not one to get into all the pre-orders on stuff like this. Um, I prefer just catching it in the store. If it's a character or figure that I'm really interested in, then yes, I'll do the pre-order. You know, or try and buy it online after it's released, but I'm not going to be one of these that's going to spend a hundred dollars on a fifty dollar figure or a thirty dollar figure or something like that. But today I'm going to be talking about the Transformers Studio Series 86 according to the package Autobot Slug. Me and a lot of other old school fans know him as Slag but outside of the United States, internationally, the word slag has some more negative tones to it. So Hasbro decided to change his name to Slug to be able to market and sell this particular figure outside of the United States. And here he is. He is, I think, I'm wanting to say this is a leader class size. I'm not 100% sure I don't have the box anymore because most of my Transformers, I take them out of the box. There's some that, you know, I take out of the box and I put them back in. There's a couple that have uh, sentimental value to me that... I have never taken out of the box, and I never will. But Slag here is the second Dinobot after Grimlock to be released in the Studio Series 86 line. Now, the Studio Series line of Transformers started out as a more... I guess it's supposed to be a more accurate representation of some of the live-action movie characters and their vehicle forms and so on and so forth. After that gained popularity, they recently, within the past year, year and a half since it was announced, something like that, went back and now they have the Studio Series 86. The 86 is in reference to the original animated Transformer movie of 1986. And they're releasing figures that are more in line with that original animated movie. Uh, the Dinobots have always been a favorite of mine and a favorite of many people. So now they're branching out into that line. And like I said, I've got the Grimlock figure. I've bought a couple of what they call upgrade kits for it. Uh, things that Hasbro as a corporation had to cut some corners on while still making it more accurate to the film, if that makes sense. And there are third-party and fan companies uh, that they will make upgrades for things that are even more accurate that would have cost, supposedly, so much more money for Hasbro to produce that go along with these figures to kind of enhance them. Uh, one of the things I know, like, for the Grimlock figure, 
and for the slag figure here. Hasbro made these feet sections hollow. And there are a number of third-party companies out there who actually either 3D print or have some other plastic experience or something. And they actually make filler pieces for this so that his foot isn't hollow. Uh, they'll recreate the weaponry. Uh, this is not exactly accurate to his original weapon. Uh, he actually came with a sword as well, originally. With this release, he gets that blaster, no sword. Again, there are third-party companies out there that will make a more accurate blaster and make a sword. Uh, kind of difficult, but if you can see here on the Triceratops form, there are hollow bits in his horn. Again, the third-party company will make uh, reproduction horns that don't have those hollow bits in them. I might look into some of these uh, upgrades for the figure. Some of them can get kind of pricey. So I'm definitely going to be looking at what I get the most bang for my buck. Uh, personally, as he is, he's a pretty dang good figure. There are some issues that I have with, I'm not sure if it's just my copy or if it's you know, how it's designed. The wings here, which are his sides in Dinobot mode, they flip down. They tend to pop off fairly easily. Now granted, I mean, it's just like on a friction joint, so it pops back on pretty easily. But it's kind of a pain in the ass. Also, his backpack area here where his wings are, there's a little tab. I don't know. can't really see it. But there's a little tab here that uh, tabs into his dinosaur crest there to hold it all up like that those tabs don't always work right so sometimes his little backpack is hanging down a little bit more uh, this section because it has to be jointsy there it goes just slight little movement and it pops out from those tabs there uh, <clears throat> You know, for the transformation, for the joint and everything, you know, his tail is a little floppy sometimes. Uh, usually, well, I say usually. You can sometimes get it to stay up better than you can other times. <laughs> uh... Some other reviewers that I've seen have mentioned that their copy has issues with the legs being a little too loose. I mean, yeah, I've got that little wiggly waggly there going on, but it's not bad enough that the whole character falls over. Uh, like I say, some of the other reviewers I've seen, the whole figure can't even stand. QC issues on that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this figure. I've always been a fan of the Dinobots. Uh, there are five of them, so I'm hoping that Hasbro will be smart enough in this line to continue it out and finish it out and give us all the Dinobots. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to more. And let's say I'm not going to go through the transformation on this guy because he is kind of loose and it's 
not really a whole lot of fun, in my opinion. Uh, you know, he turns into a Triceratops. Everybody pretty much knows what a Triceratops looks like. But, you know, he's a robot one. <laughs> so, uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. If you're a Transformer fan and you like the Dinobots, go out and get Slag, Slug. In my opinion, he's much better looking in robot mode. But then again, generally, I've been a fan of the Dinobots in robot mode, so that's just my opinion. Alright guys, see y'all next time. Bye.